Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Brosomes channel. And today I'm going to be using the F4F versing whatever Japanese planes I can find. I was hoping to verse some A6M3s to see how it competes, but I didn't really find any. So I'll mostly be fighting some Heinz because that's really all I saw. But what inspired me to make this video was I was just watching a, one of the dogfight videos on YouTube from the History Channel. And it was like the F4F versus the A6M3s and I was like, I got to do this in Wings of Duty. Because it looks so cool, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I didn't find any a 6 m 3 so sorry about that. I don't have too much time to record, but I'll show you what I did yet. This is the same gameplay I posted on Twitter. So for those of you who saw that post or whatever, uh, and you watch this, this, this is the same thing except edited. I just didn't want to post raw gameplay to YouTube because that would be kind of boring. So yeah, let's get straight into this video. Also, sorry if I sound really bad. I'll explain later. And also, don't forget about our world-famous t-shirts. Top link in the description. And now let's actually get started with this video. So yeah guys, that's what I got for the kill montage. So my experiences with F4F Wildcat is that it's quite slow and sluggish, but it can actually get up to speed and it turns really well. So you can take out Heinz pretty easily, but the zeros might give you a little bit of trouble. So I did get in a dogfight with an A6M2 here. So I was low on fuel and I wanted RTB, but I decided just to challenge this thing anyways. So I went up and climbed and I just gotta say guys, when in doubt, just B26 it out. <laughs> As you'll see right here, a B26 just like wrecks him. Which is the first time I've ever seen that, so I gotta say, props to that guy. It worked out pretty well. So yeah, just fly with the B26, you'll be okay. He'll fly escort for you, and everything should work out. But in all honesty, I recommend B and Z as usual, along with head-on-heads, 
and overshoots, especially overshoots because you'll be flying at around the same speed as the A6M3. So overshooting would probably be your best bet here or just fly with someone else and use uh, tactics for a two on one and that could work out really well for you as well so those are just the things i recommend just some general gameplay uh one thing i do not recommend to do is turn never turn fight unless it's with a hind because this plane will be able to turn them but if it's not a hind don't risk it and just try to go head on head when you can and like i said overshoots guys but anyways i hope you all enjoyed if you did hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you all next time